Do you want to know the secret that hardly anyone does, but the best business people do time and time again? They know that you have to chase people down. You are a polite person, but following up with people effectively, being able to put yourself in front of people and continue the conversation is not rude. We are all busy people. And if you think that when you reach out to someone, you will instantly become top of mind, you will be the most important thing for them, you are lying to yourself. You know how much work it takes to make that initial connection, to DM someone and start the conversation, to email them, to call them, to run into them at the right place at the right time to start the conversation. And do you know how often we let that conversation die? Because we won't do the work we need to do to follow up with the person time and time again. Just the other day, someone DM'd me and said, can you be on my podcast? I responded the same day and said, sure, let me know how you want to do it and send me a few times. It has now been six days. I don't really care that much to chase them down. And so they are letting this opportunity get away from them. The longer that they wait, the more foolish they're going to feel. They're going to think, oh man, I shouldn't have let it go. Suddenly, you know, in three or four months, they're going to they're gonna reach back out to me and say, hey, Mark, if you recall, I asked if you could be on a podcast. Can you be now? if they have the courage to even do that. If this person reached out to me and said, hey Mark, can you be on my podcast? And I said, listen, things are really tight right now. Uh, I'm really busy going into the end of the year. How about we circle around in the new year? That is a yes, just not now. It's your job to make that connection. But once that connection is made, do not let it go. It's your job to stay on top of it, to keep the communication going, to keep asking until they outright tell you to go away or no. No is a no. But anything short of no thank you, stop contacting me, then it's your job to stay in touch with them. It's your job to follow up with them. It's your job to wait because today's not now may be tomorrow's yes. How often do you allow this to happen in sales? How often do you allow this to happen when you're reaching out for your podcast or your partnerships or you're looking to co-op on something with someone? Sure, there's an initial excitement. There's the initial reach out. You had to gain all your courage just to be able to do the initial thing. But then you have to do the work of the follow-up. Don't allow these opportunities to slip away. Stop being so lazy. Take control of your schedule so that way you can plan out when you're gonna contact people and then just do the work. You wanna know the secret to sales? You wanna know the secrets to the best partnerships? It's the people who are willing to stay in front of people time and time again. Chase them down, make the connection, do the follow-ups, stay on top of it. If you would like to learn how to identify your target market, check out this video. I think you'd like it a lot. And it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel.